Yo, peace and much love. This is Caddy One with GodBlessHipHop.com. <clears throat> I am responding to the conference call that I just heard um, with Africa Bambata and the remaining Zulu Nation leaders. Um, I would say 90% of it is just arguing, complaining. Um, it didn't go anywhere. It didn't seem to go anywhere. Uh, ten percent of it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. F I would say five percent of it um, was progressive. There are some good brothers in there, and uh, you know, to monks and to um, uh, oh, I forgot his name. Um, the other brother, uh, the Australian brother, and uh, uh, the the guys who were basically speaking about for. Um, forming the organization again and and getting the resumes and moving forward I, I i give it to them you know but i think their energies are better placed somewhere else i mean you got resources and you got hundreds of people under you um just start your own organization you, you don't need to you don't need to coattail anybody you know what i'm saying you have your rep it's good it's clean you have the people under you just walk away, you know what I mean? Because Bam made it very clear at the at the end of that um, conference call that he wants to make Zulu Nation a corporate religious entity. Okay, if you're not down with corporate religious entities, um, then you shouldn't continue to be in the Zulu Nation. And this is a message to any person who is still hanging on to the Zulu Nation or um, looking forward to the new organization um, because BAM made it very clear in this audio recording that he's not going anywhere um, he's going to continue to be a dictator uh, uh, um, behind these leaders uh, these new leaders so you just can't trust anybody in the Zulu nation on the top on top um, BAM also makes it very clear that he doesn't want hip-hop heads to be leaders in the Zulu Nation. He wants business-minded, spiritual, and loyal people under him. Business-minded, making Zulu Nation, the new Zulu Nation, a corporate entity. And he also says that if anybody believes that Zulu Nation is not a religious organization, is a stupid ass. And that's a direct quote. Yes, he called you a stupid ass for believing that Zulu Nation is not religious. It is very religious. Okay, look at the banner. That's what he says. Look at the banner. All right, know your banner and know your infinity lessons. Um, so my response is just walk away, brothers and sisters of the Zulu Nation, remaining brothers and sisters, because BAM is not interested in the communities and uplifting the people anymore. He is interested in making money, all right, and building. I have a question. What is going to happen in these buildings that BAM wants to create, okay? Um, Will the will there be children there? Will there the uh, will there be vulnerable children there? Okay, that is the main question: is why are we gonna help you build buildings to take advantage of vulnerable children? Do you get what I'm saying? Is this the point, or are you trying to make a headquarters for your business? That I understand. But why are people going to help you do this now? Why? Why? Why should we? Give us a reason why we should still trust Africa and Bambada and those people who work for him. You know, just walk away, Zulu Nation members. Walk away. You have resources. You have people under you. Create. Create. You are a creative being. God gave you talents and special gifts. Utilize those gifts. Don't waste them on people like Africa Bambada. And I don't I'm not trying to be bashing anybody. I'm not trying to be negative, but for real, for real, I love hip hop. I love hip hop as a culture and I don't want to see it being taken advantage of or run like it was the Vatican or the government of the United States of America, which is what BAM compared him 
uh, Zulu Nation to, and himself to, basically the Pope, and basically Michael Jackson, and basically all, anybody else who's been caught up in some sexual drama, um, he's comparing himself to these people and saying that we as hip hop community should accept that too but we're different okay there's the hip there's the hip hop lowercase right we got that hip hop lowercase and i think that's what he wants if you hip hop lowercase go ahead and be with zulu nation and, and africa bambada because that's what he wants i am hip hop uppercase my brothers and sisters i belong to a culture of intellectual positive think driven people who love and 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 cherish the community around them who care about what it looks like when they walk outside of their house who care about all the gang violence that is popping off around them who care about the way the children are growing up and thinking and learning and and getting fed this trash on this commercial lowercase hip-hop community i mean it's just whack it's really whack you know what i'm saying um that's what africa bambada represents you know what i'm saying i think that's what krs1 might want as well um because we don't see any pro uh positive progression towards the community we need to see help and uplifting program we are not blind followers like the masses okay the government, the, the the Vatican, all that stuff that Bam Baden mentioned is irrelevant to a hip hopper's perspective because we want a real, real leader. We don't want one of them fake ass leaders. We don't want a Donald Trump. God help us. God, this is this is my prayer. This is why God bless hip hop.com exists in the first place. Because it's a prayer. I want God to bless hip hop and give us righteous leaders i don't want these dirty leaders like we have for america for the vatican for the the entertainment industry we don't want that we don't we aren't that okay when we when we as hip hoppers listen to what's going on on the tv and the radio we shake our heads at it we're like that's whack that's whack the zulu nation used to represent the people who were never to sell out Zulu Nation represented the people, some of the dopest MCs in the world represented Zulu Nation and they, they, never sell, they, they never sold out. But you want the sold out people and that's a shame, that's a shame. So to the remaining Zulu Nation members, just walk away because that's not you. I know that's not me. I've never been a Zulu Nation member, but I definitely support it. I definitely support all the community um, programs going uh, around around my uh, neighborhood and uh, around my area, around California. You know what I mean? Around the whole United States, across the world. You know, big shout out to everybody doing things for the children and to uplift the community and to get them out of gangs and drugs and trouble and show them that there's there's talent within them show them that there's hope within them and that there's life after you know growing up and and leaving this childhood fantasy that everything is is you know sunshine and and and, and candy and because it's not you know what i mean it's it's rough out there and hip-hop gets a lot of people through it hip-hop has been a, a, a foundation to, to get me out of a lot of trouble out of a lot of trouble and you know and the Lord has been even better for that you know what I mean uh, so that I, I you know I don't want to turn it into a gospel message but you know what I'm saying it is God bless hiphop.com and the Lord has changed my my life so but it's but God has used hip-hop to do it that's why I stick in this culture because it's it's just a positive culture when you when you get when you file away all the 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 the, the selfishness and the pride of it, it it really becomes a giving culture so that's all I got to say about it you know what I mean I, I, I kind of got off the, the topic but let me know what you think um, you know take my advice leave it you know but I think hip-hop deserves better leaders than that you know what i mean we shouldn't we shouldn't have leaders like that like really like we need to we need a leader like the vatican does or like you know when 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 bill clinton uh, got caught up in adultery like 
we we it's okay like we should have that in hip hop that's what you're telling us bambata I'm not down with that you know what I'm saying I don't think anybody else is down with that either you know not anybody who's awake are you awake you know what I mean I know a hundred percent of my my people are awake and I know they'll absorb this message and I thank you for watching this God bless you God bless hip hop God bless hip hop dot com um, I just I just thank God for everything man because without God I'd be nothing I'd have nothing you know so I thank you peace caddy one